Hello, welcome to this first Artpad tutorial. Artpad for iPhone, it's a cool new app, enables you to make great artwork on your iPhone and share it through social networks, um, use it as iPhone wallpaper or create images to be added to contacts, etc. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the basic tools for adding images to your Artpad, manipulating those images, copying them out, flipping them and other bits of functionality. First off, um, let's take a look at the main screens. When the app first loads, you're presented with this home screen with four main options. You can uh, create a new art pad, carry on with the current art pad, go through to your saved art pad, which is an overview of all your editable uh, creations, and the blue icon takes you through to all your share options, or if you want to delete an art pad, etc. Uh, so you can literally rack up tons of artwork and uh, go back in at a later date and carry on editing them. Uh, help and tips quick overview of the, uh, the tools available to you and um, a few tips on working with images and just a few hints to get you going with Artpad. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to carry on with one I've started making earlier. Um, we've got a uh, four options here. We can either go back to the home screen, add uh, an image to the artboard, T for text tools, working with text, and then the icon in the bottom right is for saving your artpad once you're happy with it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into the art library, uh, we can flick through, there's literally tons of folders, hundreds of images, um, all in there ready for you to select something like an eye, there we go, so it needs an eye. Now we've got one finger on this eye, and that allows us to move it around the artboard. Um, two fingers then scale, rotate, which is cool. And then there's another cool little tool. If you select this icon in the top right, that enables us to then unlock the ratio. So we can squish an image, stretch an image, uh, giving you tons more options when you're working with stuff. Now, if at any point, say we do something and we're not happy with it, then the red icon in the top left returns the image to the state in which you first started working with it, which is really handy if you uh, tint something and it's not quite right or whatever. So we'll lock the ratio again so we can't stretch it. Reduce that down a little bit, his eye. Cool. Now what I want to do is just uh, tint his eye a little bit, so we use this icon here. Give it a red tint so it matches the background. Cool, like so. I'll be going through the colour tools in a future tutorial and just looking at transparency, etc. Um, but for now, that's just a little tint to bring it in line with the background. What we then want to do is use this icon down here, which copies the image out, puts it on the top layer of the artboard, and then uh, we can move it into position like so. Cool. Okay, so he's only got one arm. So we select that arm. We copy it out again, and then there's an icon here which will flip it, just give it a mirror image of how it was before. We'll move that into position, but you see it's over the top of the other items, so we use the arrow here to knock that back down through the layers. You can always bring things back up, but we need that to sit so it matches the other one, and then two taps, selects the hand, do the same, copy, flip, move it into position. Okay, cool, the green tick okays that. Back into the library to have a look for shade to use for his nose. Uh, so like I say, it's literally hundreds of stuff. We'll keep adding to the library all the time. Um, yeah, we're gonna make lots more art packs so you, you, your creations can uh, be pretty much limitless. What I want to do um, with this nose though is just again, unlock the ratio so I can squash the nose down a little bit. Lock that again, and then tap it back through the layers so it sits behind the uh, eyes. Cool. I think we'll just move it across a little bit. And then uh, a mouth. So we'll go into the uh, character design library, find a mouth that we want to use. There we go. Excellent, so I'm happy with him. That's my character finished. Um, now what we're going to do is uh, save the character using the icon in the bottom right. I've already named this as it's one I was previously working on called Redman. Click done. Uh, it takes a moment just to save this art pad to your uh, 
library of artbads and then we go through to the file sharing view uh, it gives you options for facebook options for twitter there's tumblr where you can add captions tags etc uh, save to photos where it can then be used as iphone wallpaper added to contacts mms etc or you can email the artpad off so there we go that's the end of the first tutorial the next tutorial we'll look at the color tools transparency etc in a bit more depth um, i hope this is enough to get you going have fun enjoy it and uh, if you've not got ArtPad, it's available now on iTunes.